Uh, hello, YouTubers. Uh, back with another video here. Um, I've uh, really got into the RC. Uh, it's almost, it is an addiction. Um, as you can see, you're looking at my newest RC, which I picked up about a week ago. Um, I bought it used. It's a Traxxas Jato or Jato 3.3. Um, not entirely sure how you pronounce that. Um, I bought it used off of uh, a local local website. Uh, it's Nitro. It's supposed to be a 60 mile an hour uh, vehicle. As you can see, it comes with wheelie bars because apparently these are wheelie machines. Now, the weather, of course, is getting a lot colder here, so... Um, I went to look at the vehicle and, uh, of course, the uh, power pack to start it. Because this has got the easy start from Traxxas on it. Um, unfortunately, uh, the battery wasn't charged enough. It didn't didn't start. So, I made a deal anyway because uh, it actually came with a spare nitro motor. So, that one has compression. It's got the carb and everything on it. So, if I have any issues with the one in here... I can try that one or uh, rebuild if necessary. Uh, you know, I had it. I had it briefly running. It it definitely needs to be tuned. Uh, it was it was running I, rather rich. It was blowing uh, quite a bit of fuel at the exhaust, so I'm assuming it's it's just a tuning issue. Um, it's got uh, it's got the aluminum threaded shocks on it. Uh, it's got an RPM front bumper. It, uh, it came with some spare tires. It came with some, some rear knobbies and some front sand tires and came with an extra set of the stock tires. Uh, came with this, this nifty little stand to work on it that folds up. Uh, also came with, uh, brand new clear body that I can paint up myself with the uh, with the stickers and you know some other various parts um, so overall uh, even if even though I do have issues with the motor I I, I got a good deal uh, the tires that are on it are almost new looking it's uh be my first nitro car I uh, can't wait for uh, spring now to uh get it out and try it i don't know if i really want to run it in the colder weather we're getting now we got a little bit of snow here and obviously it's not going to hook up not with these tires anyway um and then if i end up tuning it for the cold weather then i'm just going to have to retune it again in the spring anyway so i might just uh, spend the winter maybe disassembling it cleaning it up a little bit because you know it's it's a little dirty uh, it was just uh, too good of a deal to, to pass up, really. Uh, this one has the two-speed transmission. Um, a lot of people say the uh, Traxxas Easy Start is uh, is crap. You might as well go get a recoil. Uh, you know, I'll try it. Like I said, uh, I did get it to fire up, and I had it idling there, and it was just it was a little boggy. And like I said, I was throwing quite a bit of fuel at the. Uh, at the exhaust, I don't. It could be old fuel. Um, the guy I bought it off of uh, said nitro doesn't go stale. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. I've heard other people say it can go stale. It also came with the, uh, the monitor on it, so if you want to turn that on and see the temperature your motor's running, just runs a wire around the base of your motor down here that just detects the heat give you an idea of how hot you're running which can be used uh, for tuning as well but uh, we'll see it's definitely something to tinker with um, come spring I'll get some running videos of it I don't really have any first impressions because I, I haven't run it uh, definitely liking the feel of these the, the big bore shocks they feel really nice and uh, it's cool looking. It's it's loud. It's definitely loud. Um, if you're going to be, you know, 
running in a neighborhood, nitro is probably not the best way for you to go. Like I have some some spots where I can run run this guy at a where there's you know there might be a couple of local businesses nearby, but uh, definitely not for residential area. Uh, made a little changes around here to my my shop area. Put myself up some. really bright lights so when I'm working on it I can see everything uh, with the camera that's probably blinding uh, you know I have videos of my little attracts of my Irma Fury and uh, the old boy up there that uh, I still occasionally bring out every now and then I've got my my little air compressor there and just kind of put this shelving unit up just to, to store some stuff. I've got all the controllers over there and spare motor oh, up top. I've got my little little helicopter and my little mini muscle muscle car. That's actually, this too is remote control, but uh, this was just a cheap bought at Walmart. It doesn't really go on carpet. And if you put it on even the basement floor, then it's, it's just, it's geared so low to spin. So it just kind of does donuts. It was just cool looking. I sits on display more than I actually play with it. Uh, you know, the little attracts there. He's it's it's a ride to play with. I have a lot of fun with that one. Had a lot of fun with this guy too. Uh, definitely off road fun. Um, this one here is probably going to be more of a on road car, um, especially with the speeds it does. You know, put the knobbies on the back and take it in some dirt. But uh, come spring when I get it out, get it tuned, and actually get to, to try it out, I'll just leave these tires on and play with it that way. Anyway, new toy. Just thought I'd post a vid and... See how I make it with the nitros, whether I like them or hate them. We'll see. Uh, I said the trick to these, especially if you're buying used, is just to not get frustrated. Uh, you know, if you can't, you know, obviously it wouldn't start because he didn't have enough charge on the tracks. It's easy start to get it going. There's no recoil on them. So, you know, I, I devalued it and made him an offer little bit cheaper and said you know hey if I can't hear it run but you know finding out it came with a, a spare motor is actually a little bit of relief because this one it's cleaned up it I mean obviously it's used it has been used but it seems to have uh, good compression it's got the carb all I gotta do is just bolt it in hook up the pipe and away you go and then having a spare motor, I'm sure it's going to be a, a nice option because, you know, if I do have trouble with one, it's, you can rebuild the other, get it ready to go, and then just swap them out. Uh, one thing about these is they don't really have all-weather electronics. It's kind of a summer vehicle. Um, like I said, there are guys that, you could tune it. You could take it out on the roads in the winter if they were clear. But uh, I don't know. I'd rather maybe just play with it in the summer. Um, so I'll uh, maybe post some more videos later. Uh, probably not till the spring at this point. Just hoping to have some, some fun with this guy and be my first Nitro. Uh, if anybody has any advice they want to post, comment. That would be great, um, especially like there was quite a bit of fuel coming out of that pipe. So uh, this motor almost seems like it has less compression than the spare motor that came with it. So kind of wondering if maybe that's a telltale sign that the motor is wearing out and they start to throw fuel at the pipe like that. Um, I said it could be just just tuning. I don't know. I, uh, we'll just see. Uh, thank you for watching and uh have a good night.